All right, right now we're in Harlem with the legendary Pee Wee Kirkman. Right this is family right here. This is you know what I'm telling you. Real. All I right. told him that I, every day of my life, when I was playing ball, ran 10 miles every day unless I was in prison. If I was in the street, I ran 10 miles every day. Even if we had a game late on that night, it didn't matter. Even if it was snowing, it didn't matter. Even if it was raining, I made sure I ran 10 miles every day. So, so you got to do it. So, 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 so tell the young guys how that made a difference when you were out here playing, well, being, being in better shape. Because you, all you got to do is look at the greatest players ever played the game, and you see they the most conditioned players ever played the game. LeBron, and right on, Jordan, you name them, you know what I mean? And basically, I, and especially then, because see, we didn't play in, in nice conditions or inside. We played with 105 degrees sometime in the sun, and every time go. they knock me down, it was on the concrete, not wood. There you go. But it's all good. So, so, so did, it was. Did, did that make you tougher, a tougher player? You better believe it did. You know what I mean? And when I wore the same thing with shoes, we had all them little thin shoes, and you wonder why we never had ankle problems or knee problems. It's because our shoes were strengthened by walking on the concrete. You buy shoes they that that thick. And you can't keep a couple of months for your knee, your leg, your ankle, and all, you know. I never had those kind of problems. So, so, so last question for all the hoopers out there that are looking to get the most out of basketball. What are some of the things they can do beyond, obviously, getting to the NBA that's going to help them in life through the game of basketball? Well, first of all, you ain't going nowhere in life without education. You know, you got to you gotta focus on getting that education. You know, that's priority. Second thing you got to do is, Nothing's going to mean more than respecting your family.